Hey guys, Persistent Programmer over here, and today we're going to do another LeetCode question search in a BST. So this is a classic BST question, so let's go ahead and understand what the question is asking. So we are given a BST here, which is a binary search tree, and what we need to find is um, one specific value in this tree. And we don't need to return like true or false, whether it's found or not, but we need to return the whole um, child of that value. So if there, if that value has any left or right children, we need to return the entire subtree. So a subtree is just simply put part of a bigger tree. So that's why the return is looks like this. So we need to return anything that is the child of that uh, value that we found in our BST. Okay, awesome. So let's look at the properties of BST and how we can solve this problem. Okay, so one of the most important properties of a BST is that um, anything on the left side of a node will be lower than the node. So anything here right is going to be lower than four and you can see that's the case here and anything on the right side is going to be higher okay and then within this child subtree anything on the left of two is going to be lower so one is lower than two and anything on the right is going to be higher right so this rule applies from the root node all the way to the children. So if we take a node, for example, let's say this is um, seven, anything on the right of seven is going to be higher than seven, right? So anything here is going to be higher. So we can put a nine here, right? And this is valid because everything that is on the right needs to be higher than this node. And it also needs to be higher than our root node, which is four. Um, and then if we were to extend this here, anything on this side needs to be lower than seven, but still higher than five, still higher than four, right? So in summary, we can say this could be like five and that's fine because it's lower than seven and it's higher than five. So in summary, we can say that anything on the left side of the parent is going to be lower than the parent and anything on the right is going to be higher than the parent. Every value here is going to be higher, okay? So taking these properties into consideration, we can apply um, this to solve our problem here. So we can look through our um, tree and then we can figure out which way do we need to search. If the value is lower than four, then we need to search on the left side. And if the value is higher than four, then we need to search on the right side. So this really optimizes our um, search, right? Because we are able to figure out which side of the tree we need to search. And um, it will always give us the right answer because we are applying the properties of a BST to solve this problem. Okay, so the time complexity for this will be O of N in the worst case. So this is a case when you have a tree like this. Um, where if you're looking for this value here, you need to iterate over all the values to go here. So that, that's why the worst case is O of N. But in the average case, generally, if you get a fairly balanced tree, something like this, it would be um, log N because we're cutting um, the search space in half every time. So that's the time complexity and space complexity is O of 1. We're not taking any additional space to solve this problem. And to review our solution, what we're doing is we're starting at the root node. So we're starting here for, and we are comparing um, this value that we need to search. So we know that two is less than four. So it's gonna go on the left side, applying the properties of BST. And we're going to go and iterate over the left, and we're going to check at each node if it matches. So, um, the value here is two, right? So when we go to the first value of left, it is two. So we'll see, okay, yeah, if two equals our, what we're searching for, which in this case is true, we just return this whole node, okay? So that's the way the search is going to work. Awesome, so let's go ahead and write the code.
Okay, awesome. So I'm back in the code and the first thing I'm going to do is define my current node. So current node equals root. So the root is at four currently. So that's the root value. And we're going to start um, searching from the top of the tree. That's why we're setting the current node to the root so we can use this to navigate the rest of the tree. And then we can say while current node open the brackets. Yeah, while per node, um, what we want to do is we want to check the value. So we can check if per node dot val equals val. So we know by the definition through the init function that the val here stores our value. And we're comparing that to the value that is um, to be searched. So in this case, 2, which is in our example. right? So if that is equal to the value, then we are done. So all we need to do, okay, this should be a if. Um, all we need to do then is just return the cur node value. So we can say return cur node. And we're returning the node along with any children that it already has. So that's why we're just returning the whole node. Um, okay, and else. So we can say l if per node is per node dot value or we can say if value is greater than per node dot value. So if our search item is greater than our root, so we need to search in the right side in that case. So what we can do is we will search we will set our current node. So current node current node equals current node dot right. So we are saying, hey, go search in the right part of the uh, BST, right? So we're just setting it to that right child, and else we know that it's going to be on the left. So we can say current node equals per node dot left. And yeah, that looks good. And if nothing is found, we just return none. Okay, so it looks okay to me. So let's give this a run and see if there's any issues. Oh, I spelled, I spelled uh, none wrong. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, we have a runtime error, invalid syntax. Okay, I forgot a colon here. Okay, let's run again. Yeah, awesome. And yeah, looks like we got the answer. I'm gonna submit. Okay, yay, awesome, accepted. Thanks guys. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and if you have a different solution, please post it in the comments below. It could be in any other language. It's just going to help other people look at the solutions and understand and solve this problem themselves. Thanks guys. Happy coding.